Okay, I call this effect split thirds. Um, I was inspired by something I saw on TV. And not being able to leave well enough alone, it developed into something uh, a little bit complicated. So let's get into it. I've added it to this top clip. You can't really uh, tell anything is going on until you actually start moving uh, sections of the video. And those are going to be in the left move, right move, top move, and bottom move. So if I split this apart here, then you get either a background, which you can uh, set the opacity on and if you have another clip underneath then you can use it to colorize or just show just reveal the clip underneath as in this arrangement and I'll get back to that in a few minutes I'll just set this back up uh, the idea of this is kind of a lower thirds kind of thing except that you can position the, the lower third effect it's really not a good term to use for this specific effect but everything is here to build basically the effect of the video splitting apart revealing text and then refusing together again Uh, this vertical horizontal control uh, determines which kind of third effect it'll be a vertical effect or a horizontal effect and I made it a slider so that it could be animated from one to the other so looking at the vertical split first you have a vertical split position on the screen and all of this can be animated okay Uh, you can move the left side and the right side or one or the other like that you can do the same thing with the horizontal You can move the top and the bottom, or just one or the other. And so this can be set up as a kind of standard lower third effect where the bottom drops, reveals the text, and then can be closed back up to hide again. If you use this checkbox here, you can use the original video as the background for the third effect. Let me you can use the background color to change the appearance of it, to make it different. Uh, apply a blend mode only if you're using the background the original background as the background for the third effect otherwise this uh, this blend selector doesn't do anything with anything that appears underneath if you make it transparent you have a drop shadow for the top layer of video and if you add that amount you get a separation effect with the background whether it's the uh, video underneath whether it is the solid background or even when the original colorized is used so that you get a sense of separation
below these controls you have your text controls because unlike a title effect like one of these text if I place text into the timeline here and select it I'll get a title panel and a text panel where I can control the appearance of the text from here. In this split third effect you do not get the text controls here so I've added all the pertinent text controls down here. If you double click inside the text bounding box here you can actually just drag this stuff on the screen. You have to start with the bottom if you're going down or start with the top if you're going up and arrange it and if you're using a vertical you can just drag the sides in and line up your margins uh, go right here by default uh, the text is designed to be centered in the vertical orientation so you notice that when I drag this up I've got plenty of space here so if I add text to this and type enter actually I need to fix this margin and you'll see the text will wrap inside the margins so you, it's a quick and easy way to line up the text for this effect inside the effect and as it's animated then two things need to happen if you use a drop shadow you have to animate the drop shadow because what happens when you close this up with the dr with this drop shadow amount setting on you'll get a seam since I have both of these you'll get this seam so that this should be animated down to zero so to demonstrate this particular arrangement I'm going to set a keyframe for the drop shadow amount, set a keyframe for the left move and the right move. Now I'm going to move a few frames ahead. For this, I think I'll just shift right arrow. Just jumps me ahead 10 frames. And I'll add the other keyframes here. And then I will move the left side this way, the right side this way, and the drop shadow amount all the way up. Well, maybe 90%. Then I will move the playhead forward till the end of the animation. Add in keyframes to lock down this position and I will shift right arrow to go ahead 10 frames add the keyframes for the final position drop the drop shadow to zero close the right close the left and after this renders we'll just take a look at it. Okay here goes And there you have it. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can download this effect from the link in the description down below. And I'll catch you on the next one.